Well, there's the um, competitive element that was introduced that's, um, that gets a lot of us to participate in Language Perfect. It's, um, it makes it more fun and there's interacting with other people as well as doing it on our own. At the end of the competition, we have a pizza lunch. For this time around, the top 12 got a pizza lunch prize, so it was kind of another incentive to be at the top. There are some of us that were very, very mad with Language Perfect, <laughs> and we, we really wanted to win the, the class lunch. So there's the getting our classmates to participate as well as us to, to help us bring the whole class up, not just The teachers and the students always encourage each other to do Language Perfect more and more. So we set punishments, as in, so in, if someone didn't finish, they didn't reach the task, so they would come to class and um, dance or we will set a punishment for them and they will do something. They're, they're not harsh, they're, they're, more, they're more fun, even, even for the people that are, that are doing the punishments. It's not, it's not really harsh, it's like it's, they have to get up and do dances and, and things in front of their class. So, so it's, it's not really painful, but it's a bit humiliating. So. It's, it's, it, you don't want to be doing it. Being able to practice the vocab that, would, that I could potentially use in uh, the test and just in, in class in general really prepared me a lot more for doing the test and just learning the new units because I sometimes would have a bit of knowledge of the vocab in them before we actually got onto a class. And Language Perfect is really good to test your recall so if you learned a word and then you forgot it you can go back and learn it again. I really like how at 500 points they give you that kind of really loud cheer like Whoa, 500 points! See, see you again at 1000. I think that's just really something fun and spontaneous in um, Language Perfect that I guess gives you a little bit more motivation.